Oh yeah, I can do it from back here now. I finally decided to use the wireless function on my computer. Or the wireless function on my on my keyboard. That's the best way to experience life. Sinus drainage. Sinus drainage for life. But no, I wanted to draw. Oh, come on. Sorry. This I want to fix. Stay clipped up to the beam. Thank you. That will distract me. But there we go. So, yeah. Now we can fully hear the TDS through your mic. I mean, I can turn it down a little bit if you want. I was playing around with the volume knob on the speaker. Too loud or not? It depends on if you want us to hear it or not. I want to at least have audible for when I upload it to YouTube later, otherwise I'm just talking to myself. Is it louder than me now? Like, do I need to go down? No, this is also good. Okay. Any quieter would be too quiet. Well, this is actually louder than it was before. Look at that look at that boy playing with his blanket and his stuff. Uh, right now he's not wearing the cone of shame though, dear. Mega forms eight. Record the TDS to a separate track for later. Uh, it's also so I can hear it. And so I don't have to wear earbuds. This is more more the thing that I'm looking for. I want to be able to hear it. But I'm tired of having earbuds in my ears. I was seriously thinking about whether or not I wanted to uh, do more molding tonight. I thought about actually sharpening my uh, miter saw. But once I got down here and everything was already set up for it, I was like, ah, I might as well. Yeah, he's doing good. Right now, he's just trying to desecrate a blanket in his in his way. He's playing with blankets and having a ball of a time. For a blankie of time? I don't know how I'd want to call that. But so Mecca, something I, I did was I, I picked up, uh, or I, I don't want to say picked up, I, I didn't buy it, I already have it. Um, Nicholson's, uh, damn it. Okay, this does need to get, I need to play with that. Uh, Nicholson's uh, mechanics book. Can't remember what it's called now. Um, Jesus, what was it called? It's not Moxon's Mechanics Exercises. It's, um, I think it's the Mechanics Handbook or something like that. Um, mainly because I wanted to, like, review a bunch of little, like, geometric things you can do with compasses. Yeah. And um, I don't know if you caught it, but uh,
Well, that's actually because I can't use the HDMI port from this camera. If I could use the HDMI port, it would work. It would be a much higher resolution. It'd be higher than that phone can even do. But alas, I have to use USB. Unless I want to fork out money for uh, a good HDMI capture card. Not the little thumb drive I have. There we go, that's the name of it. But um, I also didn't, don't know if you'd caught wind, but Lost Art Press has made a Moxins Mechanics Exercises in a hardbound, not just uh, Moxins, like, uh, they, they expanded it. They did the entire book. Um, they have it in... $20 HDMI dongle and it works. I have one, and I will specifically tell you it doesn't work for my setup. Um, the entire reason I'm using the USB uh, is because of that whole stuttering and tearing issue I had was strictly because of how it handles uh, the thing. Although I could try it on this computer and see if it's if it was the laptop, but using USB stopped the stutter issue. So I might get my $20 dongle out and experiment with it at some point and see if, see if I can get the yes. full high res again. Can't justify the cost. Oh, I know. I know. There's also a paperback edition um, from uh, Townsend's. Uh, if you know about James Townsend and Son or Townsend's.us, T O W N S E N D S dot US. I believe is their store site. They're a reenactment company, but they have a paperback print if you want something more than a digital file, Mecca. And it's much cheaper than the hardback. I've got to make sure Christopher Schwartz isn't listening to me because he, he'll hunt me down telling people where to find it for. Uh... Interesting YT channel. And it's actually where I get a lot of my reenactment stuff from. Or the trinkety side of it, I should say. A lot of the clothes I got other places because it's the wrong era for me. I do Age of Exploration as opposed to... Uh, he does Colonial America. And they, I think they pretty much stay out of the Civil War era. But they probably do still have some Civil War stuff because, I mean, that's your biggest money maker on reenactment supplies. But he's a nice guy. I've caught him at an event or two. Uh, John Townsend, I should say. James is no longer with us, I think, if I remember correctly. I think the original founder, James, uh, died a couple of years ago. I mean, that's all right. Take a, take a break, man. No one's going to chastise you because you, because you just are too sick to stream. I mean, we're, this isn't a, this isn't a business. It's just a hobby.
Yeah. You tell him, Albatross. So, right now we're just working away at this. If I can make four of these, we can start trying to make a uh, a frame. And honestly, I'm not going to be so picky that like the profiles don't match or they're off from each other that I'm not going to make the frame. I'm just going to make it. And if it's god awful looking, well, it's the first hand molded picture frame I made. I don't expect it to be perfect. I expect it to have lots of, how do you say, character. Actually, just sleeping over there. Yep, yep, yep. I support <laughs> I support this message. Now that explains why it's not fully seated back there. That explains a lot about this portion. Anything trying to do this is at least forcing me to learn the skill is better than nothing. It's better, it's better than having the planes and being too afraid to use them. Pass and then we'll start. Schultz line 741 says, being bad at something is the first step to being kind of good at something. Being bad at something is kind of the only step. <laughs> oh, wrong one. 
The anchor Dal Vitrade. My week off of streaming has given my brain too much time to think. So naturally I've come up with complicated but very cool ideas for my channel, but need to wait to do them. I'm sure they'll be great. I'm sure they'll be great there, Albatross. Half of the bead is done. I'm going to fix one thing that I see though right now. And that is, we got a nice little gouge going here. And it is gone. Now we move on to this side. Eventually. Chill Slime 741 said, Ah, the curse of free time. Overthinking. Eh, it's always there. Well, this is the first stick that I've done. I have limited energy to do things I need. That's all right. Everyone at their own pace. Limited spell slots equals hours in a day to do things. There's that too. Next form Z. Spell slot. Wow. Wild magic is where it is. Yes, wild magic is a lot of fun. We might stop short today, guys. Just giving you a heads up. Just kind of been a draining day, but this is making me feel better for whatever reason. I feel like I'm getting better at this too. Like I'm much less nervous doing this. All right, some of this their chai spice tea. Also new development for me is I finally figured out how to get it to show me all the redeems on the computer. So I don't have to have different things open to find it. <laughs> Very true. Although I'm not going to lie, my brain's already thinking about different sizes I want for the, for the set. I know at some point in time I'm going to want a set of twos. Keep saying it, I'm glad I dished out for left-handed plane. What you doing over there, Max? How 
you doing? What you chewing on? Hmm? Well, it's too late now. It's already down the hatch, isn't it? <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> How you do? How you doing, boy? I don't know, this is just kind of a... Can we, can, can you say hello to everyone, Max? Hmm? Can you stop hoovering? Max! Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, I know you're not feeling all that great. We'll get your ears checked out tomorrow. My mom has a German Shepherd who had a litter of six this year. And a couple of them were just black. Oh. Oh, that would have been interesting to see. My sister has been training her to be a fire department dog. There we go. She'll climb seven for the next So long to go on these. Any photos of puppies for the Discord? I mean, we could make a dog thread if we want. I didn't think about that. That's all right. We're... I've got so many discords now, I don't know what I've shared to wear. But yeah, I hope everyone starts feeling better soon. I'm supposed to be getting shot up with the flu here on, is it Friday? Yeah, Friday's my flu shot day. Huzzah. So that'll be fun. It's the most basic part of it, but <laughs> the part I want to get better at is the part I do the least, you know, using the hollows and rounds. Rabbit plane, I mean, 
I've done it so much that I'm not even worried about it anymore. Yeah, too many discords. Yeah, like, let's see, I'm on your Discord, I'm on my Discord, Craftsman's Guild Discord, the Crafter's Corners Discord, and that, that's just a few, like, there's also Texas Hula and a bunch of, I'm just, I'm everywhere. I've actually thought about getting rid of the just the standard plain old woodworking one because basically Craftsman's Guild is where most everyone is. Yeah, I was about to say, I've got a bunch of gaming ones. Uh, I've got one for D&D &D with my friends. I'm building one for GURPS at the moment so that we can keep the uh, campaign separate. <laughs> That explains a lot. Corpse. W T H. Uh, Are you mad, sir? I mean, you've known me long enough. Am I someone to take the easy route? <laughs> Tell them what your first GURPS book was. Oh, uh, Discworld. GURPS Discworld. Uh, it's fourth, actually. It's fourth edition. It's the easiest one to get a hold of at the moment. Although they're start recent as textbooks, amongst others. Gotcha. Give me a second. I have Here. a prisoner book, I think. One said, Terry Pratchett's Discworld inspired group setting. Yep, yep. Included battle bread. Sorry. And I realize now why it's being such a pain. We're almost 
almost done with this. I bought a pile of third edition books at a small used bookshop. Um, I'd have to look at the book again, but it's actually in there, the, the sapient luggage. See if I can back that out just a little. There we go. Next step. Yay! We're doing a new rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit. But yeah, we were getting into uh, Terry Pratchett's Discworld stuff, and and uh, Slime found that for me <laughs> one Christmas. The uh, the ter the uh, disc world powered by GURPS setting, and I was like, I'm just gonna sit here and read this for a while. Yes, Rincewood is amazing. big okay well we can save ourselves one of these days I'm gonna know by sight that it's set a little too far over so it's starting to dig in like it was last time Megaform Zade I want my next car to be Octorine colored <laughs> Luckily I caught it before it was too late. Huzzah! Max is just enjoying being in the house. That's, I can definitely tell that. He's just sitting over there on his blankets. Having a great time. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let's do this. One second. I never switched this. And it died. Let's 
soon as oh, there we go. Boop -a -doo. <laughs> Finally got brave enough to use that on the uh, use that from back here, so that I don't have to walk up to the screen every time I want to change scenes. That's going to be a game changer now that I finally decided to use it correctly. Ah, oh, Jesus, it's still doing it. What the? Shots climb 741 set. Okay, time for me to learn. It's starting valley time. All right, have a good time. Why is it still doing that? Have a good time. Continue to try and fix it. There we go. So many curly cues. Okay, now we're on a roll. Once you get that edge defined, it just works like butter. And I think I figured out a method for me. Because it worked to fix this, if it worked to fix this, then it should work. Period. Well, well, you could always send them here. We, you know, I lost my first edition, my second edition, my third edition. <laughs> D&D books. I'll give them a good home, but I'm just joking, Mecca. Do not do that. <laughs> do not do that. We finally, for once, have not an entire bookshelf of gaming book games. We just have a few different ones now, instead of all the way back. My first editions were only reprints. They're, they're those modern reprints they did semi-recently. Um, second edition is where I came in at. With the dreaded Lord Thaco, or Thaco, however you wanted to pronounce that. <laughs> Demon of a system.
<sighs> Surprising how much of a workout this is. Very surprising. Ah. I got the gold set. I sold my original one e books to buy two e back in the day. Yeah, I was about to say. JJC zero books and one e as a column in the DMG summary. Of <sighs> yeah, I think that's the same set I had bought recent, you know, semi recently to get first editions. Um. But they got destroyed in the flood. But you can always pick them back up, so it's not that big of a deal if I want to go get the old A, D, and D books. I've yet to play 5e. Um, Slime does. She has a group that she plays with. Um, my group is still playing Pathfinder 1. We, we were on 3.5 primarily through college. And then 4th edition came out. We tried it once and said nope. And decided to go to Pathfinder. I don't know if we're planning on doing Pathfinder 2 at any time there soon. Crazy on oh yes there are. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if Stranger Things drove those prices up. Yeah. Oh, Mecca, here, here's a funny story. One of the patron saints of hand tool woodworking, i.e. Christopher Schwartz. Um, wrote a little like blog article about comprehensive miniature skirmish rule set. Yeah. yeah, but it just, it felt wrong. It, it felt like it was robbing us of RP, of our act, of like, if it wasn't combat oriented, it felt like it was ignored by our group. What you doing, Max? What was that cacking? Huh? Okay. Um, it just, it felt like it was streamlined for battle and nothing else. Okay. Final rabbit. And then we'll have at least two sticks done. Huzzah. I'm going to employ the thing I think might work for me for this rabbit. Such as an RPG. Simulated computer gaming. No, the one who books had been in same levels before Stranger Things. Gotcha. I remember there was a, a Saturday morning cartoon called Recess, and they actually had a D&D based episode, which was pretty, pretty, pretty amazing when you think about it, because that, that cartoon was aimed at like, you know, eight, ten year olds. Um, and I mean, that, that one caught my eye and I was just like, that, that's pretty cool.
Luckily, this is also one of the smallest rabbits we've got to do, so it's not going to take us that long. And then we can get to the hard part, hollows and rounds. Sorry, I'm just hearing some creaking. And it might just be warped piece of wood, could be anything. And I am definitely realizing this is a good stress relieving activity for me. <laughs> Go down with some molding planes and play around with stick sticking. We're almost there. I know I'm not good at it, but give me some time. <laughs> Once you've got a couple of shapes you really like, you may wish to make matching scratch stocks for the final profile. I'm thinking about that too. I got plenty of uh, saws that are not going to become saws or usable saws, like this guy over here. Ah. Uh. Real good handle, but the blade is. Uh, irredeemable as a saw. So I'm thinking about just scrubbing it down and keeping it for scratch stock or a couple other things like that. Okay, so now we need, we will need you. We will need you. And where is Big Bertha? There we go. Big Bertha. Let's start with Big Bertha. Because this is the one that I have the hardest time controlling. Using my round. On this. The hollows are ridiculously easy. Although, it's only on those first couple passes that it's, this guy is hard. Once it's dug its shape into these two points, it sits and it sits permanently. Yep, there we go. I think. Suppose you are thinking of a court and a snipe spill to go with your plane set sometime. 
Um, so I'm thinking of a two, a set of twos, um, just so I can get a smaller thing to do beads with. Snipes, yeah, a set of snipes and a set of side rounds. Maybe later on a set of sixes and a set of tens, but right now twos, snipes, and half rounds. so slowly. There we go.
pay attention to this center section here because it's a little bit higher than everything else. There we go. All right, one second, guys. Let me just check what the pup is doing here. Oh, and just like that. Oh, one. Still going to do this. I'll be back in about five seconds. Yeah, I chastised you, so you're going to get mouthy at me? Is that what it is? Hmm? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Do you need water? Do you need to go outside or something? There's nothing to scrounge on the floor, Max. I'm sorry. This isn't the kitchen. We're almost there on this little swoop to do. And yes, that's a highly technical term, swoop to do. It's not a cove, it's a swoop to do. Swipes down the center. Uh, there's 
still a bit of a ridge right there. Whoop de doo complete. Moving on to better things. Meaning Humpty Doos. Twitch, don't kill me for using the word Humpty Doo. Highly technical term. All right, now well, we got that. Onward. Until hollow. Yep. Just about realized what I was doing wrong there. Rabbit plane one last time. This is going to be tricky. See what I mean? Probably one or two more passes with the rabbit making a fillet, and then we'll be on to using the hollows. Yeah, one more pass. I think I'm getting better at doing that too because I didn't actually jump out of it all that much. All right, hollow time, hollow time, hollow time. Doo -doo -doo. Only now do I realize just what people mean by saying, like, wooden body planes are temperamental to humidity. with the lessons I learned. From Sunday till today, I think we can make consistent moldings now. Because the problem I had on, on Sunday was one of the, uh, the, the rabbit plane was sticking out just a hair past the actual body and it was slowly digging out couple passes with this guy. One more. Ah. Or just dig in. Okay. Grab a 
grab you, clean up. One more pass. And we got us a nice little perfect multi. Yes, perfect. I'm going to use that word. Perfect. Okay. Oh, of course. Okay. I didn't realize that was off, guys. Y'all got to yell at me. That's one thing I'm learning about this uh, cam system is it will turn off as soon as you go to a thing. But yeah, so right here, we're, we're getting really consistent with it. Uh, we need one more pass on top and then we should be good. One more pass. This was kind of... I'll attend to that in a second. Thank you. Good enough. Good enough for government pay, I guess. I'm just going to keep fighting this. <laughs> keep fighting eventually the bead's going to go away and I don't want that to happen. So that's two good sticks. Um, hmm. Actually there's one thing I need to do and that's... Eh, it's in the middle. It don't matter. This though does need to happen. As with every molding, burnish with shavings. There shall be no sanding. be good enough. That gives us a couple. We'll put the decent ones over here. Button tells me the one we did on Sunday is probably not getting used. Um, <laughs> but with that, I think I'm, we're going to probably call it tonight. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting that this does not. <laughs> does not stop <laughs> automatically. Oh, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Also, it's been extraordinarily quiet, so I don't know. All right. 
let's see what we can find on that there the twitch to raid out onto Is, wait. Is Craftsman Studio streaming? That'd be interesting to raid out onto. He is. And what that means. Okay, make sure that I'm spelling it right. We're going to raid to Craftsman. You know, as soon as my keyboard recognizes that we are alive. There we go. Boop -a -doop -a -doo. Flash. Never mind, he won't let us. <laughs> Hey, well, we've always got the guitar show, or, nope, we're going to do Woodcraft by Owen. All right. All right. We would have raided, raided out to Craftsman Studio, but he's currently not allowing raids. So we're going to go see my friend Owen uh, across the pond here over in England. See you guys on a uh, Sunday. We're going to try and get a couple more sticks done so we can build that frame. And then uh, do some other things. Till then, have a good one, guys. Do, do, do.